Aloha and welcome to Island Driver TV. Here's what's coming up in the next half hour. We head out to Cool Little Ranch to do some racing in the dirt. We get behind the wheel of an all new Optima thanks to Aloha Kia. We check out a car show that features a few American muscle cars. Plus we go to Napa's grand opening in Waipahu. Find out where their location is. Island Driver TV starts now. If you love cars, if you're looking to buy one, or if you need an automotive tip, keep watching, because Island Driver TV starts now. Get behind the wheel of the latest cars with Ed Kemper. Take a look at locals and their sweet rides. Learn what it's like to drive some of Hawaii's most unusual vehicles, plus a whole lot more. Island Driver TV. On the island. Pearl City and actually the Pearl City Cultural Center, which is right next to Pearl City High School, for a very special show. Not only cars, but later on they're going to have a muscle event uh, at the Cultural Center. We're going to miss that part, but we're going to take a look at the cars. Okay, we're with Bry, and he's going to talk to us about this vehicle behind us. I asked him a question, a quiz question, which we'll bring up later, but tell us about the vehicle. All right, 1955 Buick. We're here up at the car show over in Pearl City High School. And uh, what modifications have you made to this baby? Uh, I converted it to a 1987 Camaro Tranny the, uh, 700R and a 9-inch Ford rear end. Here is the quiz question. Get down on it. <laughs> You're going to see these pukas on the side of the fender. He's got three, and I said, well, what does a Roadmaster have? And the answer is? The Roadmaster has four holes, ah. four holes. So that was the highest model Buick of this vintage in the 55 or whatever era. So you're here for the show, and what, what class of vehicle is this in? Uh, I think it's in the Cholo class. Okay, we're gonna take a look down, at it. homie, get down, homie, we're taking it. <laughs> These cars are separated by model designation. Uh, this is in the muscle class. It looks like about a 55 Ford truck. However, when you take a look at the engine, it's a big block Ford or Chevy, I'm not sure which, with a supercharger, a super duper radiator. Uh, obviously, it's been repainted. It's really a beautiful, classic old Ford. So among the classics, we have this Chevy, and Coleco's gonna tell us a little bit about it. All right, it's a 64 Nova wagon that we put a small block Chevy in. Uh, just play around with it, drive it around the street. So, so uh, is it, it's not a daily driver, but sort of a weekend driver? Yeah, it's our weekend warrior. So uh, how much horsepower do you figure you got in that? Um, we never rest tested it, so we don't know. Automatic or stick? Automatic. And we get excellent gas mileage, I'm sure. So this is another car in the muscle category. When I first looked at it, I said, oh, this is one of those old Anglias that were imported from England, uh, usually hot rotted up, but no. It's a Willys, believe it or not. Look how low it is. Obviously, the headlights have been changed. Uh, it's got beautiful little vents on the side. Uh, I don't know if these windshield wipers, which are quite small on the top, have been added, but it's really an excellent looking vehicle. So now we have some more modern cars. I would call them pony cars. So this one's not a pony car like a Mustang, but it is very similar. And Mike's gonna tell us what it is. It's a 2012 Dodge Challenger RT. Hemi head? Hemi's, yep. It's a 5.7 liter Hemi. Supercharged? No. Ah. So how do you like it? I love it. Fun to drive. So daily, daily driver? Um, mostly the weekends, actually. I drive a truck, a work truck during the week. And this is a weekend car. So uh, ever had a drag strip or anything like that? No, uh, the drag strip closed down uh, many years ago. Yeah. We're wanting to build the track. So uh, how about Autocross? Ever tried that with him? Um, no, I haven't. Okay, well, we're going to get him out there and try it out. Well, I mentioned earlier I thought another vehicle was an Anglia. It turned out to be a Willis, but here is an Anglia with some stripes on it. I'd say a big block Chevy is my guess. Uh, obviously a hot rod kind of vehicle with big tires in the back. But it's still a classic old English car that many people came brought over here, put in big engines, and drag raced them. So we have Ray. He's one of the judges here. How many judges are there? Uh, we have two of us uh, from Big Island, Hawaii. And um, 
Vic from Transmission Technology from Big Island, Hawaii. We uh, run a Big Island at the Hot Seasoning Car Show in Hawaii, 300 to 500 cars wow. every year. Yeah, in June, that's why we call it Hot Seasoning Car Show of the Year. And uh, Johnny from uh, the Weightlifting Physique, uh, they told us to have run a car show in uh, Honolulu. And uh, we're here today uh, to help him out. And this is the first time for us. And uh, it's a great uh, day today. And uh, to see all the cars out here, we judge the cars on certain classes uh, from the years uh, from 70 and below and from 71 and up on the classics. Then we got hot rods. You know, we have all kinds of uh, categories, up to 10 categories out here. So we have a Chevy Lowrider here. Uh, obviously some engine changes, but it's mostly wheels and suspension. And this is in category B classics. And it is a super classic. Look how low it is compared to my hip. This group of cars are pretty hard to tell because not only do they look like what they are, Volkswagens, but there's a big sign. That's this category. And of course, back here, we have a classic dune buggy. That is Volkswagen chassis engine, but fiberglass body. So that's a wrap here at Pearl City Cultural Center for the muscle fitness show. We're here for the muscle cars, uh, not so much for the fitness part, but really a very interesting show divided up in various classes and hopefully it'll get bigger and we'll come back next year. Can I help you? Do you have a replacement for this oxygen sensor? Oh yeah, watch this. Hey Rick, what do you think? Zirconium dioxide, five wire. Yeah, we got that, that's part number 24302. What aisle? Third. Shelf? Second. From the bottom. That's like a superpower, like a strange and specific superpower. I heard that. Let me get that for you. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Remembered. The 2019 Kia Soul was named Best Compact Car for the Money by U.S. News and World Report and was an IIHS top safety pick. Buy a 2019 Kia Soul with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty for only $15,555 or lease it for just $158 a month. Aloha Kia. See you in a Kia. So Kia has redone its Optima, which is its mid-size sedan. However, it's got one big change, a bigger turbocharged four-cylinder. So we're going to get behind the wheel and fry it out. Kia has recently filled its performance agenda with the newly introduced Stinger. And now Kia has created another performance-oriented four-door sedan with its restyled mid-size Optima. The Optima exterior receives an update for the 2019 model year with new front and rear bumper designs, some changes to the high-tech headlights, and revisions of the taillights. Perhaps more importantly, the engine compartment welcomes some reinforcements with an optional 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which produces 245 horsepower. The power runs through a six-speed automatic to the front wheels. With this combo, the 0 to 60 time is a quick 6.7 seconds. With the relatively small engine, the average fuel economy is a reasonable 24 miles per gallon. The base price starts at about $23,000, but the S Turbo model, with a lot of luxury and performance features, is about $33,000. Clearly, the overall styling still says Kia with their unique rectangular grille, which narrows in the center. Some cuts and sculpturing are found on the sides, and a small spoiler sits atop the trunk. Entertaining on this performance model are the 18-inch alloy wheels with red brake calipers showing behind them. Multiple luxury, performance, and safety features are also found. With the key in your possession, the door is opened easily, the mirrors fold out, and the engine is started with a push of a button. Colorful and unique leather is found in the interior. A large 8-inch screen is in the center of the dash and is operated by touch with small buttons or dials below it. A unique feature is the camera system. In reverse, a 
360 degree screen and regular rear screen are shown. And by pressing on the screen, different views are presented. When going forward at slow speeds, a camera shows what's in front of the car. A dual automatic climate system is part of the package. A smaller video screen in the dash pod shows data like fuel mileage and such. The drive modes of Econ, Comfort, Smart and Sport can be changed with a push of a button. Other buttons on the dash can open the fuel tank door and the trunk. Rear seating room is good. An armrest with two cup holders is provided. Two air vents are on the back of the center console. Two storage pockets are found in back of the front seats. For more privacy or sun protection, shades can be pulled up in the rear door windows. The trunk is very large and nicely lined. It also has a storage net to hold small items. With a pull of handles, the 60-40 split rear seat backs are easily dropped for carrying lots of luggage. On the road, the engine largely operates in silence unless really pushed. There is no delay in the push you back in the seat acceleration. The automatic transmission feels shiftless, no matter which drive mode choice is made. For those who want to shift gears, large paddles behind the steering wheel are available. Handling is very good with corners taken quickly and easily. A number of safety features relating to lane keeping, lane departure and braking are part of the turbo package. If performance in a luxury mid-size four-door sedan with a lot of features is on your list, check out the Turbo Op Optima at Aloha Kia on all the major Hawaiian islands. Beanie, you remembered. The 2019 Kia Soul was named Best Compact Car for the Money by U.S. News and World Report and was an IIHS top safety pick. Buy a 2019 Kia Soul with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty for only $15,555 or lease it for just $158 a month. Aloha Kia. See you in a Kia. It's only a matter of time until this happens to your car. You can either go to a body shop or go to Mirage Paintless Dent Repair. Mirage specializes in the craft of paintless dent repair. It's the art of removing minor dings and dents without the use of fillers or repainting. At Land Rover Honolulu, we only use Mirage Dent Repair because it makes them disappear. Painless Dent Repair is a third of the cost of traditional body shops. We offer a mobile service to your home or office. Most repairs are finished within 16 minutes. The original paint stays intact and is a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you have a dent, call my dad, 368-5584. Living in Hawaii, you need the best. And WeatherTech floor mats from Watokoli are the perfect choice. When those unfortunate accidents happen and your plate lunch goes to the floor, WeatherTech mats will be there to protect and they're easy to clean. Deep channels trap water, dirt, mud, and sand. And they're available for hundreds of makes and models, so no matter what you drive, you'll find the perfect fit. WeatherTech floor mats. Find them at Watokoli on Dillingham, just Eva of Kalihi Street. Welcome to Island Driver TV. I'm Rachel McMahon. We're here today at the Kualoa Ranch, the beautiful mountains, friendly people, and awesome fast cars. Behind me is the track. Right now they're testing and tuning, and as you can see, it's not an easy street. Little did I know, you can have joint custody over a car. Two owners, one car. I want to hear a little about the car and what you're sponsoring here. This is uh, the Team Mimosa Express car number four, uh, sponsored by Kona Deep Water, Best Water in Hawaii. Um, we kind of share this car to save on cost and have fun. Basically, we're the only rear wheel drive BMW over here. So, uh, also some fun facts. We've been doing this for about three years now. How long has it been? I'm looking through it. It's like five years or so. So, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, it's an 86 uh, BMW 325. All right, I got to know on the obstacle course for the uh, cow poop, wet or dry? Um, it's got to be tacky. I'm here with Scotty. Tell me a little about this ride. This bad girl right here is a 2000 Subaru Impreza, all wheel drive, four huge cylinders for monster power for heading down this rally track. Smoke everybody, we're the fastest car out here.
I'm here with Victor, short for Victory. Tell me a little about your awesome ride and also your business, I know, your tow. Yeah, I have a 2002 uh, uh, Audi A4, and it's got some beautiful orange little rims that are, we painted, and also we uh, took it all apart, detailed it, and made it our own, and um, this is my business, so we're sponsoring this event um, for the car, and hopefully everybody enjoys and has a good time. Notice that a lot of cars are modified around here, but I did notice a very creative modification. Do tell, Lance. Yeah, pretty much it's just a bunch of mahogany wood is all it is. It's just a cold air box. The, the radiator fan shrouds the same wood. Um, basically, the front clip is all held together by wood and carbon fiber. Pretty much stock otherwise. Hi, I'm with Avery. I'm just curious, we're about to do a trial run. Can you explain what that is to me? Yeah, we run what's called Rally Trials, which is a slightly faster version of Rally Cross. The cars have to be prepped a little bit better with roll bars, fire extinguisher, a racing seat, and a five point or higher harness. And that allows us to get up to higher speeds and that's something we want to be prepared for if we can somehow secure a track in Honolulu. I'm with Lance, and hey, I was wondering if I could take a ride in this Tokyo Drift Machine. Yeah, absolutely. My goodness gracious, Lance, that was unbelievable. I mean, seriously, we drifted and you played that music and I was getting excited like no one played the music but you and I felt like it was driving me. I literally felt like I was having an out of body experience. Drift, drift, gravity was changed with you, Lance. We have smoked that. That's awesome. Tell me a little about your clutch experience. What happened? Um, I lost it. Well, it won't disengage anymore, but you got to shift it without the clutch, so you got to grind the gears basically. If you can't find it, grind it. here and I want to know a little bit more about the women of the track. The women here are tough. We stick up really well against the guys. We keep our scores up there and it keeps everything going. Oh, I can imagine taking scores. I mean, I take scores with my partner all the time. I mean, do you recommend this as like marriage counseling? I think it's great. My husband and I, we compete. We use the same car. It keeps our marriage exciting because we're always trying to beat each other. And it's just, it's a wonderful therapy. It's been a blast. I had the time of my life for an annual fee for around $50. You can do this all year round. I know I'll be back. You work hard all day long. And when it's time to play, you play just as hard. And through it all, your Wet O'Coli seat covers are working hard too. Taking the punishment you give them and defying the effects of dirt, sand, and water. Wet O'Coli can handle everything your lifestyle demands. And when it's time to relax, you know you've made a smart investment. No matter what your lifestyle, Wet O'Coli has you covered. Welcome to Island Driver TV. We're here in Waipahu at the Napa Warehouse and Superstore, and this is their super grand opening with 
some terrific bargains, and we're going to check it out, and I'm going to buy some stuff. So this Napa Superstore has some special giveaways here and special uh, items for sale, so you can see behind me with all the tents and other stuff. So here's one of the super bargains. These are floor mats. That would be for the front seats and the back seats, $5.99. So we're here with Mark uh, from Napa, and uh, he's going to talk to us about this fabulous tool set that's really on sale here and maybe on sale in the future. Yeah, this is our Mac Pro. It's 204 piece set. It was a Christmas promo special. So it's on wheels. We lay it down, open it up. Really cool thing about it is it has individual sets also. So you got all your Torx bits, you got your screwdrivers, you got a, a, a knife. So this case comes out, and once the case comes out, you put it together, and then all your sets are on the other side as well. So you got your sockets, you got your ratchet, uh, you got your impacts, all convenient. Uh, the two blue cases go together, and then you just button back up, and you're, uh, you're mobile, you're on the road. 239 piece set, it's on wheels, it's $82. So this has a special center here called the Tool Center, and you're gonna tell us a little bit about it and how it operates. Carlel Tools is a lifetime warranty, so you can go to any Napa store and uh, ask the guys at the counter, it's all about the Napa know-how, and uh, they have the tool boards behind me there, so we have everything for your safety checks, everything for you know, socket sets and wrenches, and the Carlel line was in Invented by mechanics for mechanics, so all of our tools are Napa tested and pit tested approved. So Ron Caps uses the Carlisle tools in his pits. Uh, Chase Elliott uses the tools. Um, uh, Rossi, uh, the Indy cars. So we have five Napa drivers. You know Brad Sweet in our uh, in our dirt track car. So it's pretty cool. All of the Carlisle tools have been pit tested, Napa approved. We're with the CEO, Commander in Chief, etc., etc., etc. Daryl. Uh, here for Napa, and he's going to tell us about what's behind me, which is the warehouse portion of the same facility. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate the show and everything you do for automotive related in Hawaii. So what's behind us is our Napa warehouse. It supplies all 40 stores in the state of Hawaii plus Samoa. We have three acres under roof and a lot of inventory. Everything that's shipped out to all the stores in the state of Hawaii and Samoa come out of this distribution center. We have a team of about 60 people here that work constantly every day from 7 in the morning to about 8 at night to keep Hawaii on the move. Wow. So when auto parts become obsolete, what, what do you do with those? Well, what happens is our national headquarters in Atlanta has a pretty complex system that runs different algorithms that tell us what parts we need and what parts are needed to be returned. So we have throughout the year an ongoing perpetual inventory that updates our inventory, brings in the new parts we need, and then takes out the parts that become uh, slower moving or start to become obsolete. We're with Lorenzo and family, and they're in line, and he bought some touch-up paint. What's the story there? We came home, uh, there was some scratches on the front bumper, and uh, I was looking to touch it up myself. I went to get some touch-up paint, and then I, I I couldn't fathom to try to do it myself since the car was so new, so I reached out to a professional and he recommended I get this color paint, so um, we got it and uh, we're on the way to his house. Hopefully he can touch it up and everything will be nice and clean. So we're outside here with Mark, and this is another special deal. What, what's the story? Yeah, so this is our Evercraft uh, lifting equipment. It's a, it's a jack, it's a, it's a workbench, it's a set of wheel chocks, it's an axle wrench, all in one box. Uh, it even comes with a set of gloves. So it's a regular $99.99. It's on sale for $50 while supplies last. So this Superstore has lots of stuff, and I bought some of it, like synthetic oil and this foam that cleans gas tanks. So. If you need anything for your car, and even for your home, this may be the place to come to at the Superstore in Waipahu. Can I help you? Do you have a replacement for this oxygen sensor? Oh yeah, watch this. Hey Rick, what do you think? Zirconium dioxide, five wire. Yeah, we got that, that's part number 24302. What aisle? Third. Shelf? Second. From the bottom. That's like a superpower a strange and specific superpower. I heard that. Let me get that for you. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how.